Hey, 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 hey! Guess what day it is? Is it the day where Joan has to do lots of really stupid uni work? Correct, it's Nick Tape Monday! I realise I've been talking a lot about music recently, but this will change when uni work doesn't make me want to kill myself anymore. Nick Tape Monday, video response with yours, if you think you're up for it, yeah! Okay, so every good mixtape needs a good opening number, and my one is this. <laughs> A song called um, Rhapsody in Blue. It's a kind of reworking of this um, like classical jazzy sort of standard by George Gershwin, and it's a staple in like orchestras and that kind of stuff. It's a pretty rad and well respected piece of music, but then Brian Wilson of the Beach Boys in his oldness and decrepitude and it's like, like, just puts out this amazing record of Gershwin covers, and they're all amazing. More about Brian Wilson in a minute, but first, George Gershwin. Oh my god. Jesus Christ! I've been massively getting into this chap uh, for the past week or so now. It's Rhapsody in Blue, it's um, you may have heard Summertime and the living is easy. It's like all really messy and beautiful and has really nice chords and it goes in really interesting directions. The equivalent today would be if like someone wrote this really awesome hip hop track and it appealed to cool people and music snobs alike. So George Gershwin was a bit of alright. Um, I hold this opinion, many people hold this opinion, but one of the top people who hold this opinion is a guy called Brian Wilson, um, the lead singer, sort of producery guy with the Beach Boys um, way back in the 60s. Oh yeah, and very, very recently, like this year, the Beach Boys have reformed even though they hate each other's guts and like are only doing it for the money, but still, they released this really brilliant song, um, and uh, excuse the unfortunate pixels up there, but it's called That's Why God Made the Radio, and this is our second track. So, so we have Rhapsody in Blue and That's Why God Made the Radio. The third track, um, bringing it more up to a, like a more current sound, um, is, um, is this your ideal man? by four or five magicians. In the much maligned period of the late noughties when a young Joan was like 16 and shit, he really loved the album Empty Derivative Pop Music um, by a band called Four or Five Magicians. And partially because the lyrics are really, 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 really good. It's kind of like what the indie rock sound of um, the mid noughties would have evolved to. Going down this really noisy, really lyrically beautiful path and continuing on that little mini theme of um, bands that are like ignored in the late noughties. I'm from Barcelona. I'm not actually from Barcelona, that's the name of the band, or the dude. I'm from Barcelona, put out this really, really great album a couple of years ago. Quite a few years ago now, bloody heck, I'm getting old. But uh, I think the main standout track from that is um, a song called The Painter. And oh, it's one of the most jolly, most jubilant songs. Quite, there's something quite interesting about um, I'm from Barcelona. None of them are from Barcelona. Like, the main dude's from Sweden, and there are like 20 of them in the band. Continuing on quite seamlessly onto the fifth track, um, The Marriage Mr. and Mrs. Fairy by the Teacups. The Teacups are this Scottish children's group. Um, they used to play at birthday parties. I'm not sure whether they're still around anymore, but they, they put out like this really lovely, lovely EP. It got all that kind of childhood sweetness and innocence and beauty and, and like wonder at the world. The sixth track is uh, a song called Hornets by a band called Teacups. Not the Teacups, just Teacups. They put out this really, really great album called Forest Fiction where every song is lovely and beautiful. Um, for all you Harry Potter nerds, um, there's a song called Lily's Eyes which is about um, Harry Potter and like his relationship with his mum and stuff. But I think the standout track is um, a, a song called Hornets which has this really beautiful horn going on. Um, but also um, Four Eyed Birdwatcher um, is, is a really beautiful song as well. Okay, so meandering on to the seventh track. Um, the King of Carrot Flowers Part 1 by Neutral Milk Hotel. God, it's so lyrically beautiful and so fantastic, but it's also quite dark. Um, the point is that it's really lo-fi and lovely. On to the final track. One, two, one, one, two, three, four. It's by um, this chap. Uh, Gavin Bryars, and I just think it's a bit incredible. It's like a Beatles melody, and you know what I'm like with the Beatles. Paul McCartney. <sighs> So if you have any kind of mixtape Mondays that you'd like to share with me and or the world, pop them in the comments and make them into a video response. I'd love more video responses, that would be lovely. Until then, take care.